The objective is to subtract a fraction from a mixed number. Here we have 3 and 3 fifths minus 2 fifths. Let's go ahead and look at this within unit form. This would be 3 ones, 3 fifths, Three ones, three fifths, and in this case, we are subtracting two fifths. So we'll work with like units. We'll stick with our three ones because we can subtract two fifths from the three fifths. Three fifths minus two fifths is one fifth. So to write that, as a mixed number, we would have 3 and 1 fifth. So again, it's 3 fifths minus 2 fifths, which is 1 fifth, and then our holes, 3 holes, because it was 3 ones minus 0 ones. Let's go ahead and show you another problem. Here we have 2 and 3 fourths minus a fourth. Let's use a number line to see what this would look like. Here we have 2 and 3 on our number line because we can mark 2 and 3 fourths there. In this case, we're subtracting 1 fourth. So in subtracting 1 fourth, we are now at 2 and 2 fourths, which we know also equals 2 and 1 half. Say the number sentence again. 2 and 3 fourths minus a fourth equals 2 and 1 half. Originally it was 2 and 2 fourths, and we did simplify that to put it in simplest form. Here we have 8 and 9 tenths minus 3 tenths. Let's draw out a number line to see how it is that this would work. We'll go in between the whole numbers 8 and 9 and break apart our number line into 10 parts. We'll mark 8 and 9 tenths on our number line. Next, to subtract 3 tenths, we'll go ahead and subtract by tenths minus a tenth, minus another tenth, and minus another tenth. So in each of those cases, we're subtracting a tenth. And then so if we were to count down, it would be eight and eight tenths, eight and seven tenths, eight and six tenths. So we'll go ahead and mark eight and six tenths on our number line. Again, that's nine tenths minus three tenths is six tenths. And then we have that whole number of eight. If we were to write that within simplest form, we would get 8 and 3 fifths. Here's another problem. Can we take away 3 fifths from 1 fifth? We can't, can we? Because we have one, only 1 fifth and we're trying to take away 3 fifths. So there's not enough fifths to subtract 3 fifths. If we were to think about that, if we were to decompose three-fifths, it would be decomposed into one-fifth and another two-fifths. So we can't, we can't do that. In other words, we would be subtracting one-fifth already, but then we would still have to subtract two-fifths. So let's go ahead and subtract by looking at a number line where it is that we'll start at 4 and 1 fifth. And in subtracting from 4 and 1 fifth, we're going to go ahead and subtract 1 fifth first. And then we'll subtract the 2 fifths. So if we subtract the 1 fifth first, then we're at the whole number 4. 
And at that point, then we subtract another two-fifths so that we have subtracted one-fifth and another two-fifths. In other words, we subtracted the three-fifths. So when we count down from four, here, this is three and four-fifths, three and three-fifths. So that four and a fifth minus three-fifths is equal to three and three-fifths. Your turn to try. Here we have 3 and 1 fourth minus 3 fourths. Be sure to use a number line. Pause the video while you do your work. So on our number line, we would have 2 and then also 3. Here we could mark 3 and 1 fourth. We would travel back a fourth first and decomposing. 3 fourths, since this was a fourth here, we'll break it apart into the fourth that we'll take away to be able to get to the whole number, and then we'll go ahead and take away another 2 fourths. So this is minus 1 fourth first, divide the rest of our number line into fourths, and travel back another 2 fourths to be able to get to 2 and 2 fourths. And then did you express that into simplest form? Look over your work. Here we have 3 and 1 eighth minus 7 eighths. Do we have enough eighths to subtract 7 eighths? No, this is the same type of problem as before. Let's try a different approach this time. Let's go ahead and break this apart so that we have one whole. So we'll take away one of those ones from the three and one eighth. So we'll decompose and rewrite three and one eighth, that's two and one eighth, and one. Now, where can we go ahead and get more eights here then? Right, from the one. And then so the 1 is worth how many 8s? Right, 8 8 So we have 2 and an 8 plus 8 8 minus 7 8 And when we subtract 7 8 from 8 8 we get 1 8 So we now have 2 and an 8 plus an 8, which equals 2 and 2 8 We can simplify 2 and 2 eighths to get 2 and 1 fourth. Let's look at one more of those where we have 7 and 3 tenths minus 7 tenths. So again, we'll go ahead and break that apart so that we have 1 minus 7 tenths plus 7 and 3 tenths breaks down into 1 and 6 and 3 tenths more. So we'll go ahead and, and work out 1 minus 7 tenths first. 1 whole, which was 10 tenths, minus 7 tenths does equal 3 tenths. So we have 6 and 3 tenths plus 3 tenths, which equals 6 and 6 tenths. which does equal 6 and 3 fifths.